Welcome. Another um, 3D printing tutorial. Uh, this is on <clears throat> how to export your your project from Fusion 360 as an STL file, and then open it in MakerBot Print so that you can print it. Uh, prepare the files for 3D printing. I'm just going to follow those two from Fusion 360, creating STL files, and then opening them up in Ma MakerBot Print. So here is my hexagonal box. Um, just to show, if I click on this line right here, it says it's five centimeters. I just want you to pay attention that this box should be five by five by five by five by five by five centimeters. Okay. Um, I've got three bodies. I've got the, the box, the lid, and the handle, or the knob. I'm gonna call that knob. It's more of a knob. Try that again. Knob. Enter. Okay. So, uh, in order to export them, it's pretty easy as an STL, which is the 3D printing or the 3D model uh, format. You click on it, hold control, it brings up a menu for that body, and you click on Save as STL. You click OK, and you just name it Q in box. Click on the lid, Save as STL. Q and lid. Put your first name and the name of the part. Okay. Hit OK. And click knob. Save as STL. Q and knob. Okay. The reason I want to print, uh, have an STL for each, because I might want to print them separately. Um, in, if I print them separately, I can change the color of each one of them, which is really nice about 3D printing. Um, and I can decide where they print, how they print. Because right now, this lid, I would print not like this. I would print with this part face down so that it would not need any supports. And there'll be more about supports coming up in the next couple lessons. It's very important to pay attention to what is the bottom of your print. So now that I've got them, I can take a look in my doc downloads. And I can see there's my box. I can just preview them. One, two, three. These are not to scale, so this knob is not this size. It's just in the preview. There is one other way you can um, download an STL if you click on this target. But when I click on the target, it highlights all the bodies. And when I file Save As, let's say I say that, it, it's going to download the entire project as a as an STL, and I can show you that too. Just So you would not want to print this at all. You might want to use it for reference, but you would not want to print, print this because the, the actual uh, lid is floating in air and it would be all kinds of problems. Okay, so now you've got your three parts, one, two, three. Let's open one of them in MakerBot Print just to see how it works. So I've already got one open, so I'm gonna go new project and confirm that. So, Simply, after you've logged on and created your account, over here it says Add Models or Add Models. You click that. You just open up your STL like this. It puts it right there. Now, I remember when I said that my um, sides were five centimeters, so that the, the, the actual box should be you know, 10 centimeters across or so. But if I click on this bottom, it says Scale, you can see that it's saying that it's 10 millimeters across, which is incorrect. So I'm just going to, just so you can see it, I'm going to increase the, the scale by 500 and I'm going to rotate it down just so that you can kind of see. So you may have to adjust it in MakerBot Print so that it's the right size. But that's the next tutorial. This is just about opening, uh, exporting an STL from Fusion 360 and then opening it in MakerBot Print. So thank you. Uh, have fun designing. <laughs>